guys, it's Twitter one Maxwell, and welcome to episode two of the MCW Road to Glory. Today we'll have an introduction to the company, and we'll also be having our first show, as we like to get this show on the road. So, as you can see here, our owner is John Graham. Our approval rating is excellent. We're a local company, and we've managed to get a profits of two hundred eighty nine dollars so far. Uh, running our first show tonight, which is MCW The Beginning. As you can see, your owner, John the Bomb, Graham, has decided to work free for the company until we're in a healthier position, so that's good to see. Owner goals we've been given is we must not be in debt when the time limit expires. When the time expires, MCW must have at least as much popularity in the British Isles as it did when the goal was set. So as long as we're over zero, we'll be fine. And in terms of hiring people, we can't hire anyone who's a Japanese junior. Anyone over the age of 40, or anyone who's classified as a spot monkey. So some interesting goals left there. We've created one title, the MCW Heavyweight Championship. Of course, it's not going to be a world championship until we defend it in a few countries. So that has begun. It'll be interesting to see who becomes our first champion on tonight's show. Other things I can show you, size as you can see is zero across the board will be in Scotland to start with, it's for expanding around the world. And in terms of our product, we are basically old school wrestling, 90% match ratio, 80 on TV, 50% match intensity, 15 match danger. Uh, we'll have a women's division eventually, we will have a face and heel divide, key feature of traditional wrestling, low mainstream, medium realism, and low hardcore, so it means we've rated more on performance and popularity. Uh, less uh, effective will be hardcore and aerial skills. The fans will expect all wrestlers to have a gimmick. They will not uh, respond well to subtle gimmicks. We'll have at least one storytelling match per show. The fans will be put off by highly risky angles. We're favourable towards getting sponsorship and will not be rocked by industry changes, so that's good to see. So we're in a good position. We've got a roster of seven. I'm not too sure if I've maybe overspent on a few, but I can confirm we've brought in James Scott to be a cocky heel. Well, most of the heels are just going to go with basic cocky gimmicks. We've got Joe Coffey as one of our main baby faces. Of course, John Graham, the owner. We brought in Jordan Devlin to be a young up and comer. Uh, speaking of youngsters, we've brought in Kenny Williams as well. Mark Coffey's in as well, so it's going to be a big feud between them, potentially Mark and Joe. And we also have Michael Chase in, another Scottish wrestler, and a luchador, Robbie Solar, and of course the other booker. So the company is looking good. We are getting ready for the first ever show, the debut of MCW. And that event is going to start right now. So here we are guys, time to book the show, and everything has went absolutely wrong. Uh, basically, all our performers, as we'll see here, are working elsewhere tonight, so I should have probably have looked at that. Meaning, um, wherever we're booking the show, I've had to basically bring in some local performers uh, to carry the show and to make sure we make a bit of profit. So, MCW The Beginning will feature guys who probably won't work for us um, again anytime soon. But um, what we've done is we've booked the show in the Epsom Playhouse in Southern England. Reason being, um, it's the smallest venue that we could have got, which holds 400 people, so not bad considering we're expecting to get nine fans watching this show. So it's going to be interesting to see um, how much money we do lose, but it is going to be the first show. It is going to be in Southern England. And let's see how our drafty then workers do for us on the first edition of MCW The Beginning. So nine people did turn up. We started off the show with John the Bomb Graham coming out. And he's basically just cutting a, a promo, just welcoming everyone to the first of our show. Hoping they enjoy what could be the big journey here. That, you know, the beginning of something memorable. So this gets an F plus 14. The show got off to a strong start. It got the crowd hotter, so that's good to see there. And just the negative was the locker room morale. So a good start to the show there. Our first match. I had decent reaction from the crowd and I had subpar wrestling. And it saw Jordan Devlin defeat Sebastian Radclaw in 10-14 by pinfall. 
Risk an E26. Jordan Devlin debuting an old school heel cocky gimmick. Uh, it got an uh, initial rating of average. The unknown booker probably could have done a better job of putting the match together, so um, probably should look at more road agents, but try to save money since at the moment in time that's not a massive thing we need. Uh, the match at the crowd hotter. Sebastian Radcliffe, a 25 performance to Jordan Devlin, a 27. I'm not too sure what kind of rate we need to get to get pop increases, but uh, yeah, that's basically what help us judge it. Both men improve their performance skills, negatives, mostly the locker room's morale. Next up, we had a decent matchup that saw Ashley Reed defeat Kieran Donnelly in 11 15, uh, 54 by a pinfall. In E28, the veteran Reed went over the youngster Donnelly. Ashley Reed is getting better at his gimmick. Ashley Reed with a 31 performance to a 27 from Kieran Donnelly. No skill improvements and a few negatives here, both baby faces, but put them together just to kind of put on a decent match. Next up, we had Eddie Ryan cutting a promo on Joe Masters. Eddie Ryan is going to be main eventing tonight's show against Masters. This was an E-19 promo. So decent from Eddie, as I say. He's pretty decent in real life. Just a few negatives there. And that sets us up for the end of the show, which was a match that had a decent reaction from the crowd. It did have subpar wrestling, and Eddie Ryan defeated Joe, um, Joe Masters. And 11.54 by pinfall. This was an E-22. The crowd seemed bored with yet another special guest referee being involved. Okay, so that must have been the case that we're not putting an actual official in. We've been adding people, so that's interesting. Maybe we need to put people in that are designated refs instead of putting in the unknown booker. The match got the crowd hotter. Ed Ryan just got a 14. Joe Matthews with Masters with 28. And not a massively great start for the company so we'll look to hire a referee and a road agent before our next show but the main thing is the E22 gives us somewhere really low to start and hopefully we can build up from there one person Jordan Devlin we'll just give him praise because everyone else probably won't be with us again so make speech Jordan is pleased and um, basically it's something we can learn from I feel like there's a lot of mistakes made with the show it was definitely um, being back as a beginner, and I'm just hoping, as I say down the line, we can seek to improve that. So let's have a look here. Um, a lot of news items because it is a brand new mod and it is the start of the save. Uh, credit to the Who for a lot of data that's been inputted here. Uh, can we find our show? We might be down the bottom in terms of importance just to see how it's been rated. There we go. Uh, feedback has been, it was not that bad given the company so small, so that's good to see, that's positive. We did lose a good bit of money, we are negative 1,638, but overall momentum is 1. And in terms of size, we're still at 0. And I think that's something we'll keep seeking to grow going forward. So, the first show is in the book. Um, we'll have the second show very soon in terms of the start of May. And I say, hopefully, in that time, we'll get a signing of a referee, a signing of a road agent, and hopefully, just continue to, to learn from the mistakes there. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you're going to join us on this journey. Let's hope it does last a bit of time. But certainly, a lot of things to be learned from here. Any tips on how to make this save good? Um, so don't make any more stupid rookie mistakes. Are all deeply appreciated. Any likes or comments if you've started Road to Glory yourself? Let me know how you're getting on. But until next time, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all real soon. Bye bye.